Hello. Welcome to the Cisco Connected Grid Router video overview. My name is Floyd DaCosta, and I'm a channel systems engineer with the Cisco Worldwide Partner Organization. Today, I'll be introducing you to the Cisco Connected Grid Router 2010, which is a foundational element within Cisco's overall connected grid architecture. Let's get started. The Connected Grid Router 2010 is a platform which was built from the ground up using new industrial grade components and is based on many of the features of the ISR G2. One of the features that was leveraged from the ISR G2 platform was the multi-core network processor. The network processor used in these platforms are not general purpose processors, but have been purpose built for networking and for moving packets. It also includes features such as integrated hardware encryption, which allows us to offload some of the encryption capabilities on the actual network processor. The CGR2010 is also equipped with two gigabit Ethernet uplink ports and two gigabit Ethernet fiber SFP ports. These ports provide the added flexibility to run dual 10-100-1000 copper or 100-1000 SFPs. The ports can be configured for auto detect, which allows the first port in the pair to achieve a link to be selected. If both ports in the pair are connected, the SFP port takes priority, and just note that the priority is not configurable. This feature also allows the port to switch over to the alternate media if the primary fails. The CGR2010 is also equipped with two USB ports, common on many of Cisco's routing platforms. They provide for storage, as well as usage for security credentials. Continuing to meet the requirements for deployment within a substation environment, the CGR2010 can either be front or rear mounted. In many instances within a substation environment, equipment must be mounted with the cables and the wiring towards the back of the enclosure to mitigate the risk of cables or wires being accidentally pulled or knocked out of place. To accommodate this, the CGR was built with indicator LEDs on both the front and the rear of the box. The Connected Grid Router 2010 has been built from the ground up to be substation compliant with the IEC 61850-3, which is the standard for the design of electrical substation automation, as well as IEEE 1613, which is a standard outlining environmental and testing requirements for communications and networking devices within electrical power substations. Compliance with these regulatory standards is critical for utilities. In addition, the Cisco Connected Grid Router 2010 has been built to withstand harsh environments such as wide variations in temperature and humidity, high levels of electromagnetic interference, high levels of vibration or shock, and exposure to airborne matter such as dust and dirt. All of the elements that you would typically find within a harsh substation environment. Another unique feature relative to a deployment within a substation environment are the field replaceable dual power supplies. The power supplies allow for load sharing in a dual power supply configuration. Also note that the power supplies on the CGR2010 are universally interchangeable with the connected grid switch 2520 platform. On the face of the unit, users will also notice the terminal block, which allows power input to the unit itself and not the standard AC inlet that you would typically find on Cisco routers. This helps facilitate easier deployment for substation engineers. Because of the harsh environments which the CGR2010 will be deployed in, and in order to comply with the IEC 61850 and the IEEE 1613 standards, the CGR2010 platform has no moving parts, such as fans, in order to protect the unit from any mechanical failure. The airflow is achieved through conductive cooling. Because of this, it's important that the units are deployed with one rack unit above and below the unit. In addition, the operating temperatures for the CGR2010 were increased in order to comply with the standards for substation compliance. The CGR2010 Grid Router WAN Interface Card leverages the modular interface design similar to many Cisco platforms but have been built to meet the IEEE 1613 and IEC 61850-3 standards. We're going to be going into more detail on the grid router WAN interface cards later on in this module. 
Another unique feature included on the CGR2010 is the connected grid swap drive. The swap drive is a removable flash memory which was included in this platform to provide zero configuration replacement capability. In the event that the router experiences a failure, a substation operator simply needs to enter the substation, insert the flash card, which includes the iOS image, the configuration text, and other devices configuration, and the router will be back up in no time. We will be going into greater detail on the CGR2010 swap drive capability later in this module. For the most updated CGR2010 specifications, please follow the link below. Thank you for watching this section of the CGR2010 video overview.